Hey everybody, okay, this lesson is called Relative Frequency, so I, I split this up into two parts. I tried uh, doing it one part and it just was too much, so this will be split up into two days in my class. So anyways, relative frequency of a category is just the frequency of each category divided by the, uh, the total of all frequencies. So here's an example. So the frequency table below shows the result of a survey that Ken conducted at school. He asked 80 randomly selected students whether they prefer basketball, football, or soccer right here. Okay, so we're going to use the frequencies. So the, the frequencies just means how many. So there's 20 uh, basketball, 32 football, and 28 um, uh, soccer, and all those add up to 80 right there. So he's going to use the frequencies to make what's called a relative frequency table expressed using decimals. So you're going to do it using decimals and or, or percents. Okay, you remember how to do a change a decimal to a percent. So what we're going to do is take each uh, number here, each frequency, and divide it by the total. So 20 divided by 80, okay, so that's what's going to go right there. It's a, a 1 fourth or 0.25. And the next one is 32 divided by 80, and then 28 divided by 80, okay. And then, of course, 80 divided by 80 is 1 right there. All right, so here's a, uh, a two, um, a two types of relative frequencies we're going to talk about. One is called a, a joint relative frequency, and that is found by dividing uh, a frequency that is not in the total row or total column by the grand total. Okay, I'll show you an example. This will unwind an example. Don't let this confuse you. And it tells what portion of the totals have both the two specific characteristics. And I know you're thinking, what's all that mean? This next example will show it. And then we also have what's called a marginal relative frequency, and that's found by dividing a total uh, row or total column by the, uh, by the grand total. And it tells what portion of the totals have a specific characteristic. All right, well, if that doesn't make sense, it will right here. All right, so we'll complete a two-way relative frequency table from the data uh, uh, that's in a two-way frequency table. And we'll identify the joint relative frequencies and the marginal relative frequencies. And you're still thinking, what? Here. So let's go back to Ken's survey. So for a survey about sports, he also recorded the gender, whether they were a girl or a boy, uh, on each student. So here's the results of that two-way table right there, okay? So th this is the same thing. Here's the table that we had before. So there's 20 basketball, there's 32 football, there's uh, 28 soccer. Here's my 20, 32, 28. Okay, and then uh, the 20 came from 6 girls and 14 boys. Uh, the 32 came from 12 girls and 20 boys. And then here, 18 girls and 10 boys. Okay, and they, so, so this plus this plus this equals 36. And, and this going across this row is 44. Adding down is 20. Adding down is 32 and so on. Okay, so it's just uh, it's the same data, but it has more specifics of a girl or a boy. Okay, so there that is up there. So now we're going to find the relative frequencies by dividing by the grand totals. So the relative frequencies is, is how much is this with the grand total in respect to the grand total? So 6 out of 80. So 6 out of 80, these are all divided by 80. It's all of these numbers divided by 80. Okay, and so there's our, de our decimals right there. Okay, so that's all that is right there. And so the joint relative frequency tells what percent. So we're going to convert all those decimals to percents. Okay, so here, right here. So the girls who like basketball is going to be, move that decimal over two places, one, two, it's going to be 7.5% of girls like basketball. Okay, and then 17.5% of boys like basketball. See, uh, move it over two places so it becomes 17.5. You guys remember how to change a decimal to a percent? You just move the decimal two places to the right. Okay, all right, and then the next category is um, um, uh, the, the football. So 15% of girls like football move the decimal over two places, 15%. And 25% of boys uh, uh, preferred football right there, okay? And then here it's going to be 22.5% of girls who like soccer and 12.5% of boys who like soccer right there, okay? All right, so the marginal relative frequencies tells what percent of the totals have a given characteristic. So we're going to take the, the totals right here. So down here, this 25% is 25% uh, of people like uh, basketball. Here, 40% of people move that decimal over one, two, so there's a space, you gotta put a zero in there. 
So 40% uh, uh, prefer football, and then 35% prefer soccer right here. Over here, this says 45% are girls and 55% are boys right there. Okay, that, those are the marginal relative frequencies. So the joint relative frequencies are all these inter little cells right here. The marginals are where you're doing the subtotals, the percents of the subtotals. Okay, doesn't that make sense? All right, if you're in my class, I'm going to assign you guys that for your homework. Take care.